And as many of you already know by now, I usually stream with my Electrovoice RE27ND hooked up to my GoXLR. For a little while now as well, I've also been using my Hyphen Sandara headphones as my daily drivers, but there will be a review on those coming in the coming days, so just wait up a little bit longer on that one. However, I didn't really feel like I was getting the most out of my Sandaras with just the GoXLR. I was getting a good performance either way at max gain with my GoXLR and it was fine, but I wanted more flexibility in the volume since the GoXLR could only do so much in that regard. This meant that I needed some way of boosting it and that's when I came across this gaming amplifier from Sennheiser. And this over here is going to be the Sennheiser GSX 1200 Pro. And I can safely say that it's been a great performer and even surpassed my expectations in some aspects. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we continue, don't forget that I have a Twitch channel that you can go ahead and follow me on for live microphone reviews and much more than that. But you're also going to find my Instagram and a link to the text on the Discord in the description. So come join the community because it is a pretty cool one. We've also opened up a Patreon as of late where if you join, you'll be automatically entered to win one tech gadget every month in our exclusive giveaways. Details of that are going to be down below. Don't forget to check out the description for everything. Now let's get right into the video. The exterior design consists of plastic and we're talking about a very small device here too. One that does pack quite a punch as well. And it does have a soft touch texture to it that does feel pretty nice. You will also come across a little kickstand to make it more usable under more circumstance. And on the top you're going to find the volume wheel that is constructed of aluminum and has a very smooth rotation to it which just makes this very satisfying to use overall. The LED panel on it is touch sensitive as well and it gets very bright. Now you can make changes and switch between your different presets from it, though it's not really the most responsive screen out there since sometimes it does take a harder press in order for it to actually trigger. There's also this really cool red LED ring around the volume wheel that looks really cool. This is not going to be RGB based by any means as it only lights up in red. And you also get four touch sensitive corners and then lets you make changes on the fly and these are going to be pretty useful to have around as well even though i hardly really got my hands on these as well like just so that you can leave your own presets on there i guess and then on the back you're going to find a chat line or chat link as they actually call it along with a headphone jack a microphone jack a speaker jack along with a micro usb port and the b chat link port and these two chat link ports also have their individual volume controls on the side there is just a lot to this little gadget and I will touch on these right away. So what can you do with a device like it? Well, normally you would just go ahead and plug in your gaming headset or headphones onto the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then you would plug in your microphone to it as well. But it only accepts a 3.5 millimeter connection directly. Though that isn't to say that an adapter for USB headphones wouldn't work because luckily it absolutely does. So feel free to use your Razer Black Shark headset with this as it will work just fine with the included adapter. And now this would operate pretty much as an audio interface of its own as well. But we can just go ahead and plug it in through the included micro USB cable to your PC. Now do remember the two quote unquote chat link ports are mentioned from earlier. And well, there is also going to be a GSX 1000 model and this GSX 1200 Pro model, which is the one that I currently own with the most notable differences between these ports, honestly. And that is just going to be that the purpose of this is going to be to daisy chain other GSX 1200 Pro models to it and then that way like your entire team could just have pretty much have the same connection to everything and you can make the most out of it like when it comes to microphones you'll be able to hear each other the best and when it comes to, to headphones and things like that like you can take advantage of that as well and there is really at least not as far as i know any other type of practical use that you can get from these if you're just one person so you'd probably be better off saving yourself a bit of money and getting the 1000 model instead if you can i actually went with this one because i found it used for very cheap on amazon 
Amazon and cheaper than the 1000 model at the time. And now let's go ahead and talk about the overall performance. So as you guys already know, I do use this with my Go XLR to boost the gain for my headphones. I daisy chained the two by connecting the headphone port directly to the line in port on the Go XLR, uh, but you would just go ahead and leave your headphones connected to the headphone jack on the Go XLR so it would not go directly to your Sennheiser amp uh, considering that it is already being used. And then you would go ahead and change the output device and windows to your Sennheiser GSX 1200 Pro headphones. And that's exactly how you would get that to work exactly as it should. And now you can get a little bit of extra power from the GSX 1200 Pro along with it, the Go XLR, of course. And while it hasn't dramatically improved the game levels here, it did add a big enough boost to make the experience of using my Hyphmans much nicer. Now you can turn stereo headphones like these into 7.1 surround sound headphones with just one press of a button. And while this is powered by software, it works surprisingly well as it opens up your headphones and gives you a much wider sound stage, which I very much appreciate when gaming. I think that that feature actually works really well when it comes to video games in particular. I really like this feature for gaming because you get a very interesting and genuinely enjoyable surround experience, but outside of games, it's not nearly as enjoyable and I instantly end up just wanting to revert back to stereo right after that especially if you're doing like any kind of audio monitoring or anything like that you don't want surround sound anyway this is just a better way of going about it and they also have features for like adjusting some of the EQ settings with a movie preset music preset and gaming preset I don't use any of these whatsoever and just stick to the regular flat setting since I really don't like the sound of the other ones or at the very least they're so specific in the way that they're tuned that it's just not very usable for me to keep them on under multiple circumstances and i don't like them even for their own respective purposes so i tend to not use them whatsoever and just stick with the flat setting instead and so when it does come to complaints for instance i do have a couple for one, I do think that they could have built the body a little bit better here since it is just plastic and that MSRP of this thing is closer to $200 in value. I also wish that they had a more robust software to making changes to it because you don't really have software to make changes to it, especially if you're going to be daisy chaining it to your Go XLR. You don't really gain access to some of the other features that you would get with the EPO software. However, if you did have other things plugged in on there, then you would would be able to get a little bit more flexibility I would say but for some reason everything is just kind of like grayed out for me even after updating it which I find it to be a little bit odd and I also wish that I had more direct controls over the levels or the frequency draft for EQing my headphones I just don't love the idea of presets and I also believe that some RGB would be nice here to be completely honest <laughs> but most importantly I think that this product could be cheaper and I would surely hope to see more price drops in the future for it so in conclusion as a standalone product this is a great device but it is a little bit expensive for what it is I really love that it can open up the sound stage to such a crazy degree and the volume wheel is very nice to use as well also the extra power that it offers to my go XLR is quite nice but it is just nice to have versus is something that is extremely useful or just like very game changing for the exception of that surround sound effect that you can turn on for games that is genuinely really cool however there are going to be better amp and dax that i could have gotten for my setup but this one does offer things that others don't i still really love this device but i can't exactly justify the msrp price tag hardware canucks actually has a great video on comparing with different gaming decks and amps for different purposes and i suggest that you go ahead and check that out as well for more reference but you're here because you want an answer and an answer i will give you should you buy one get the 1000 model instead of the 1200 pro model since they're virtually the same However, I've been very happy with this device for what it's offered, but I still feel like I can do better and will continue to search around until I find something with more power, more headphone EQ options, and probably better software support as well. However, this, again, as a standalone item, is pretty cool. I would get the 1000 model instead, especially for just one person. But with that said, that is essentially my verdict. And if you're interested in getting this amplifier, then I'll be making sure to leave links in the description to Amazon in case you're interested in getting your hands on this. There's also going to be a bundle, which is like me, 
I believe that, that this is going to be just a really cool service for actually just going ahead and then financing whatever it is that you want off of Amazon and you do not need a credit card of your own. So with something like this that is a little bit of a harder pill to swallow, I would just go ahead and use Abunda because it is, again, just a much easier way of financing it. And since you don't need a credit card of your own, you're not signing up to anything that you probably don't want to get signed up with. So links to that down below. There's also going to be Luster in case you're looking for any kind of alternatives like this or if you're looking for sales or anything like that luster is going to be great at helping you do just that and showing you even a higher key of how things are going to work or more so just like other items that people tend to get instead it'll show you all of that so links to that down below and if you use any of my links i get a small commission that does about the channel quite a bit so i would appreciate that quite a bit and also i would like to extend a very special thanks to all of my patrons and especially to my tier three patrons the ten dollar patrons the tech summit conquerors and these are going to be omar and saad awazel Thank you so much for all of your support and that is thanks to people like you who help us directly in making content just like this and don't forget that there's also the rest of my social media like like my twitch my instagram and things of the like however i would like to also extend a very special thanks to the rest of my patrons for the tier two so let's go ahead and get into that and this is super important i would just like to give a very special thanks to all of our patrons which are going to be listed right here on the screen again a massive thanks to you all for supporting us to help us create and the kind of content that we bring to you on a day-to-day -day basis and thank you so much for supporting at the tech summit podcast as well and just remember that if you would like to be a part of this community too and then do make sure to check out the links to our patreon where you don't only get bonus episodes of our podcast but you also get automatically entered into one of our monthly giveaways of a tech product that we have reviewed and that is of at least 50 dollars in value or higher so links to that down below and that's been pretty much it. So thank you so much for everything. Thank you for watching. And I will be seeing you all next time. So this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. And well, enjoy. <laughs>